it's about a week later. Um, we had, you know, stuff to do, work, families, all that sort of thing. And here we are out at a beautiful uh, field today. It's kind of misty, a little bit rainy, but that's all right. Jason's going to go ahead and take this guy up and show you how it flies. Um, Jason, you said that uh, you did end up uh, having one wire crossed on an ESC when you tested it, yeah, right? Yeah, this guy over here burnt up. <laughs> So, so I had to replace it. Yeah, so basically it sounded like the solder just um, got a little out of control and short Yeah, I think what happened, even if you use uh, heat shrink, if sometimes the, the solder can get sharp, and I think that when I wrapped it and then when I zip tied it, I think it punk punctured through the tape and wound up shorting out. And like as soon as I turned it on, immediately started glowing and smoking. So yeah, that's that's bad. I had to replace. So, but good thing that we, we tested it uh, before this, and now we're going to actually see this guy fly. Yep. minute to calibrate. It's always a good idea when you first again, like I said, get out in a field, try to stay away from the joggers over here and, uh, you know, do some tests where you're hovering just to see off the ground, make sure that your directions, left and right, pitch, all that good stuff is correct and you didn't get anything cross. Uh, it's always good to be conservative uh, when you're first testing these out and make sure you didn't mess anything up. Uh, but in this case, it looks pretty stable. This is the default settings uh, on the CC3D, which again, it's not super snappy, but it's very flyable and, uh, you know, works quite well. I did program another bank with a little bit more um, it's a mode on the CC3D called Ratitude, which actually lets you, it will always try to self-level, but then you can push the stick really far and roll it. I need to adjust it a little bit more as it's a little bit slow right now. But uh, that's advanced stuff. Get out there and, you know, cover the basics. I would highly recommend, especially if this is your first build, practice like this without goggles for a while and just, just get used to it. You know, get used to doing turns and, you know, controlling the vehicle and that sort of thing before you go too crazy with it. Um, you need to understand the basics of flying before you throw the goggles on. It is a very different experience. Yeah, this isn't like flying a Phantom or a Solo or Not something like that even with close. GPS. Yeah, <laughs> totally different animal. Yeah, and even that, it's very different from, as you remember, going from this, from line of sight flying to flying with the goggles. It's a whole different ball game, right? Line of sight, you always have to be aware of your orientation so that you can, you know, not destroy anything. When you get the goggles on, it's really about just looking at what's in front of you and really getting used to that. So I would recommend getting used to both. So there it is, folks, the build. Feel free to comment, send us uh, your pictures, your, your uh, own builds. We'd love to see what you guys are doing out there and safe flying.